Dear friends, I am Dr. K. Kannan, Professor Mechanical Engineering, Anjali Ammal Mahalangi Engineering College, Kovil Vinni. I am happy to meet you again in the solution and discussion on UPSC Engineering Series exam questions in Mechanical Engineering. This is lecture number 32. The topic is Fluid Properties. In Fluid Mechanics, we take the first chapter, Fluid Properties. The first question from 2014 question paper. A Newtonian fluid is one which is viscous by incompressible, has linear relationship between shear stress and the rate of angular deflection, exhibits an increase in viscosity with increasing rate of deformation, exhibits a decrease in viscosity with increasing rate of deformation. So, the correct answer is has linear relationship between shear stress and the rate of angular deflection. And look at this diagram. The x axis is the velocity gradient du by dy and the shear stress in the y axis. These are all the uh, characteristics of different fluids. Uh, Newtonian fluid, it has really linear relationship with the uh, velocity gradient, non Newtonian fluid ideal plastic fluid and ideal solid ideal fluid ideal fluid there is no shear stress ideal solid we have there is no velocity gradient and we have ideal plastic and newtonian fluid so newtonian fluid it has real linear relationship between shear stress and the rate of angular deflection next question which one of the following fluid exhibit a certain shear stress at zero shear strain shear strain rate followed by a straight line relation between shear stress and the shear strain rate. So, look at the diagram once again. So, the zero shear stress, zero velocity actually uh, exhibits certain shear stress at zero. So, zero velocity gradient, it has got the shear stress. Then, the linear relationship between shear stress and the shear strain. So, the ideal plastic fluid, ideal big harm plastic fluid that is the fluid which has the condition given in the question. The next question from 2016 question paper uniform flow occurs when at every point the velocity vector is identical in magnitude and direction at any given instant. The flow is steady, discharge through the pipe is constant, condition do not change with any time. The correct answer is uniform flow the velocity vector is identical in magnitude and direction at any given instant. That is the correct option. Option A is the correct answer. Next question from 2014 question paper. Unlike the viscosity of the liquid, viscosity of the gases increases with increasing temperature. This is due to the increased cohesive force between the molecules, increased momentum transfer in the molecules, decreased momentum transfer in the molecules, increased both cohesive force and the momentum transfer. The correct answer is increased momentum transfer in the molecules. For the gases, when the temperature increases, the molecular activity increases. So, the, we know the kinetic theory of gases. The molecules of the gas, they move at a random fashion with a very high velocity. So, the molecular activity, momentum transfer in the molecule happens, increases. So, the viscosity increases for the gases. Next question from 2021 question paper, a liquid has a specific gravity of 1.9 and kinematic viscosity of 6 Stokes. What is the dynamic viscosity? We have 4 options here. We will calculate. The kinematic viscosity gamma is 6 Stokes which is 6 in 10 power minus 4 meter square and density is 1.9 into 1000. So, the specific gravity is 1.9 into 1000. 1000 is the uh, uh, density of the ideal fluid that is water. So, 1.9 thousand equal to 1900 kilogram per meter cube. So, dynamic viscosity mu equal to kinematic viscosity by density which is 1.14 Newton second per meter square. So, the answer is 1.14 Newton seconds per meter square. The next question from 2019 question paper. A plate weighing 150 Newton and measuring 0 0.8 meter by 0 0.8 meter just slides down on inclined plane over an oil film of 1.2 millimeter thickness for the inclination of 30 degree and velocity of 0 0.2 meters per second. Then the viscosity of the oil used is, we have four options here. The correct answer is 0 0.7 Newton second per meter square. So, we will see how in the next slide. So, this is the arrangement. We have an inclined plane. 
with the dy is the thickness angle is theta this is the force w the weight acting downward and this is the velocity so f by a equal to mu into dy by du by dy where f equal to w sin theta by a so the force equal to w sin theta into a which is mu into du by dy so w is 150 it is given the problem sin 30 this theta is 30 degree divided by area is 0 0.8 by multiplied by 0 0.8 this equal to mu into du change in velocity is 0 0.2 meters per second and uh, height is 1.2 millimeter 1.10 per minus 3 so rearranging and calculating mu equal to 0 0.7 newton second by meter square that is the answer to the question the next question from 2021 question paper we have two statements statement one the viscosity of the liquid decreases with the increase in temperature while the viscosity of the gases increases with the increase in the temperature so the uh, statement is true statement uh, two the viscous force in the fluid are due to the cohesive forces momentum transfer molecular momentum transfer in fluid it is due to the cohesive forces molecular momentum transfer so the correct option here among the four options the correct option is both the one and two statement one and two are they are individually correct individually true and the statement two is the correct explanation for the statement one so option a is the correct answer next question from 2022 question paper a flat plate of area 1.5 10 power minus 6 millimeter square is pulled with a speed of 0 0.4 meters per second relative to another plate located at a distance of 0 0.15 meters millimeter from it what is the power required to maintain the speed if the fluid separating them having a viscosity of one poise we have four options here so we calculate the velocity gradient du by dy equal to 0 0.4 divided by 0 0.00015 which is 266.7 per, uh, per second to the power minus 1. The CSS equal to tau equal to mu into du by dy. So, mu equal to 0 0.1. 1 pi is equal to 0 0.1 newton second by meter square. 0 0.1 into 2666.7, which is 266.7 newtons per meter square. Force required to pull the plate F equal to CSS into area. So, 266.7 into 1.5. 1.5 into uh, millimeter square this is 400.05 newton the power required to maintain the speed p equal to f into u so 400.05 into 0.4 equal to 160 watts so the answer is 160 watts so the area here 1.5 substituted 1.5 in 10 power 6 millimeter square we have to substitute in meter square so it is 1.5 meter square the next question from 2014 question paper the pressure inside a soap bubble of 50 millimeter diameter is 25 newtons per millimeter square newtons per meter square above the atmospheric pressure the surface tension in the soap film would be we have four options here 0 0.156 newton per meter 0 0.312 newtons per meter 0 0.624 newtons per meter 0 0.08 newtons per meter so we calculate so the pressure 25 newtons per meter square diameter is 0 0.05 surface tension of the soap film sigma equal to p d divided by 4 so p is the pressure divided by into d divided by 4 so 25 into point 0 0.05 divided by 4 equal to 0 0.3125 newtons per meter so the correct option is option b 0 0.312 newtons per meter is the surface tension of the soap film so we stop here so these are all the books i have written in mechanical in a subject uh, you can subscribe the uh, uh, use the books for your better better preparation the i upload the video lectures of all the uh, subjects in the youtube channel you can subscribe the youtube channel use the video lectures for your better preparation so thank you for watching please post your comments on the comments box you can contact me for any clarification the subject we'll meet again with another video lecture in the uh, fluid properties from the questions from questions in fluid properties from the upsc engineering service exam question paper until then, bye.